Well, hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. This is going to be our uh, last harvest out of these pins. We're uh, getting them all today. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Good riddance, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> 2020 could have been better. But it could have been worse too, I guess. So Gabriel was wanting me to spend like 10,000 pesos on lead sinkers and I told him uh, we weren't going to spend 10,000 pesos on lead sinkers to use more rocks because I, I kept bugging him about getting all the fish out of here. We just, I told him we need every one Gabriel, every one. Uh, because I guess they I guess they get out from underneath the bottom of the net. I guess. Is it, is it dragging the bottom? Yeah, it's dragging the bottom. But, you know, if you only have a stone every four or five feet, then that makes a little yeah. a si little six inch, eight inch pocket, and the fish aren't stupid. They are stupid, but they're not that stupid. They're instinctual. Yeah, they say, well, this we can get out of here, let's go. Well, some of them are already ahead of the curve, and they're just like, Good size. Yep, they're good size. One, I, I mean, you know, water refraction, all that stuff. But I swear to God, Brian, it looked like a like a little like it was, it was like it was a like foot, a bass. It was a foot and a half long. Like it was huge, and it even had a funny little kind of like its tail. You know, bangus have that one that's a little bit bigger than yeah. the other. That one was like long. It almost made me suspect if it was not if it was a different type of fish. Well, Gabriel has said that there is tilapia in there. Uh, I've uh, I've never seen it, seen them, because uh, he'll you know he'll go, oh, it's right there. See, look, it's right there. Look, look, and I go, there's a million fish there, Gabriel. I I don't see uh, tilapia, but this will be the test. Uh, to see if he was correct. There's some that are, you know, a little bit smaller, but most of the ones I'm seeing jumping look to me like they're these two perch, which they should be. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, we, what is it, they're a week older than they were last time, so they should have all gained another 15 grams or so. You know, some of these fish are not as, maybe, they, well, this is a bit different. They're not just jumping because they're happy or whatever. But, and I noticed this before when, uh, from the previous harvest. Some of them will, will jump and then tumble and they'll just like, like they won't hit it clean and they'll like, they'll pinwheel across the water. You notice that? Well, we're hoping we get two tons today. We're actually hoping we get three. But again, it's hard to, uh, get a good guess as to what you've got until you get them all out. Based on what they've been eating, uh, there's about a ton in there. But Gabriel's saying there could be, a, Gabriel's quote I think was one ton plus, maybe two. So, I mean, we're, we're actually hoping that we can get two tons. If we get anything more than that, it's just like Christmas. And we've already taken almost five tons out. Now, we still have, like I noticed they put this back up, so there's, there's still fish in here. I would assume there's still, there's still fish in this side. I think he's just doing them, doing them separately. Because yeah. it's like, that, I would assume it's just too much of a giant pain in the behind to remove these poles yeah. and and do it all, all as one. Well, I would rather have a smaller one. I'm glad they did this. Like, you can certainly dredge and you're more likely to catch everything in a more narrow thing than if we did the whole damn thing. Yeah, they definitely know something's up. Wow. As soon as people get in that water, they like up. You know, if they if they were highly intelligent, I've seen those fish like that one. He just jumped up as high as the, that guy's feet. Wow! If they knew they could jump out, yeah. they could get out easily, every one of them. Because I've seen them, I've seen them go 
what is that? That's a good eight, eight or nine feet. And I've seen them come out of the water 12 feet. Wow. So if they wanted out, they could get out like that one. You know, if they wanted out, they could get out. But they just, you know, they're just fish. And they've only got a couple million brain cells. And none of those are uh, tuned to uh, effectively escaping. The only thing I'm worried about is when they get it closer, because uh, you can see the floats there. Is uh, so when they get it closer, there's going to be a well, couple hundred jump over the net. But I mean, whether the next time around they hit that pin, they got to redo this again. They got to like, they got to do it at least twice. Yeah. Jason and I had discussed early on putting another net in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and just uh, a harvest net and just pulling that net up so that we got all the fish. But that was, you know, several tens of thousands of pesos, of pesos extra, and it never happened. I think in a perfect world, it would be good just to have uh, a net down on the bottom that, that is already covering the floor of the pen that you just need to raise the sides up on and all your fish are contained within it rather than doing it this way but that would like i say that would uh that would be several tens of thousands of pesos and the thing is is that we have we have since learned that most of the buyers can only handle maximum like four tons at one shot well, on the haul the local buyers. yeah on the haul yeah and even even finding boats that can haul six or seven tons is hard it's a that's a big boat that's like one of the row row ferries so any the only way to get 10 tons plus out of here is to put it on yeah see all the all those jumping over the net there the only reason the only way to get a large amount of fish is to put them on a truck and then put that truck on a uh, boat to just one Oh, there's been about 50 go over there in the last 30 seconds. Well, I think ideally they should do like these guys do, like try to keep it as tight. Well, you know, before I, I you know, when I was quasi running these harvests, we had lines, they were, because they would do a whole pen and that, that net that's just floating in the water mm -hmm. was being held up out of the water like six or eight feet. So they couldn't jump over it, mm. but I don't know. Do you know what I'd like to That's do? Like, I, I guess it's too complicated for Gabriel. He doesn't want to do it that way. I wouldn't mind having a, I mean, we shouldn't say it's on camera, but like, you know, using aircraft cable so that it, you can, you know, and, and run it right across and then, you know, put a <coughs> ring in it and have that connected to, so then you could actually keep, and you wouldn't have to have people trying to do that. You know what I'm saying like you, you would just pull on the net and it would stay above yeah. that height and you would just have to have one set it 10 feet up high and just run it straight across and well, even more so with the fact that we've got, we've got the pen split too where I was going with the uh, like the maximum doable harvest or at maximum sellable harvest is that you know the capacity of this pen is a hundred thousand fish and if they're two per kilo, that's 50 tons of fish. And to, if we, it would have to be split up somewhat. So say we split it into fours, we quartered it. That's 12 and a half tons. Uh, you have to sell all those fish. I mean, if you're gonna, that's if we had a net in the bottom and we were, and we could get them all at the same time, uh, you got to take them all because you just can't take out six tons and then release the rest then let the net down and release the rest back into the pen because it stresses them out so much you'll lose 10 15 percent or more depending on how long you've got them trapped in the net getting them out of the net so um, it's it's comp it's complicated it's a situation Get it, get it. 
Alrighty, well they're getting them up in the air. It would be nice to see a frothing, frothing mass there of five tons of fish, but that's not going to happen. And as you can see, there's still a lot in here. I mean, this is this is a. I don't know if there could be a more inefficient way to harvest the fish than this one. Well, there's your. Yeah, but that's no, I know. That's less than a ton there. It's a bunch of fish, but we'll see. And there's, and there's still a you know there's a lot of fish in here left. I mean, if that's a ton and that's half of them, and we're going to get another ton, that's a beautiful thing. But we got the fish that are outside of the pen. Try and look around here and see how many are still cruising. They're hard. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. All right. Well, they're going into the box with ice. Good looking fish. I still don't see the tilapia that Gabriel was going on and on and on about. Harvests are good. All right, they're bringing in the second net full. We got 22 boxes out of the first net full. Hopefully we can get 22 out of this one, and there's one more. And they're just the same size as the as the first one. Uh, we'll be sitting pretty good if there is. Kind of thinking these are going to be quite a few more number twos in here. 
the number twos are almost two kilos, just not quite. Well, I don't know, those are pretty big fish. Wow, look at that guy. I'm gonna have to pull him out as soon as he becomes a bit. Jason, I think there's like a one kilo fish in here. He went he went down low, he's right in there somewhere. I mean it's a huge fish. Of course we'll never find him now, but he's really big. No, that wasn't him. <laughs> hey, it's just me. It's just me. You know what I'm gonna give us out? Get the hell out of the way, you crazy foreigner. That's, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's a really, I just noticed that he was considerably larger than the others. Oh, there, Leggy. So, uh, 22 boxes times 36 kilos, because that's how many are going in each box. What's 22 times 36, Gabriel? What's 22 times 36? 720 kilos? More than that, it's... How much is it? That's uh, 800 and... Uh, oh, no, 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 the first time was 782. So have you gotten most of them out of the big pen? That's a, you got almost all? You can't, no? Five pieces. Five pieces? So how many are remaining in this, in this side? Yeah. Ten pieces? <laughs> Better be more than ten pieces. <laughs> huh? Ten kilos? Yeah, we'll save you out ten kilos, Gabriel. <laughs> Well, that's like five boxes worth. So that one right there is like a one kilo fish. It's like the biggest one that we've taken out. I'll give you, I'll put my foot down there for a little bit of perspective. That's a, a big fish. That one. That's a, fish. that's a pretty good sized fish there. I'm thinking that's just that's right out of kilo. Let's throw him in a box and put him on the scale. I'm just curious. Throw him in here, Jason. Let's weigh him. I'm just curious. See if we can get a kilo. He's over a kilo. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. He's like 1,100 grams. Eleven hundred. Yeah. All right. Well, we're wrapping things up. We got I think twenty nine boxes, which is a little over a ton.
No. So it's uh, not quite what we had expected, and we're going to have a conversation about that. But uh, the pins are empty, and this is going to be the last harvest for 2020. Uh, we'll run you guys some final numbers. Uh, we've got to go through all the books, add everything up, and uh, stay tuned. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.